A theme can really make a story for what it is. A theme can make a story very powerful. A theme can make a story feel more real. And a theme can make a story have a lot more purpose. Studio Trigger has used themes in their past work and it has shown. For example, if you look at Kill a Kill, the theme is clothing or fiber. If you're looking at Gurren Lagann, the theme is drill. Now if you're looking at their most recent work, Promare, their theme is fire. Fire, which is a very hard theme to do with originality behind it. Not only did they create that with an original theme to it, they also intertwined the past two themes of their previous shows, Gurren Lagann and Kill la Kill, into Premiere. As the new movie Premiere definitely does resemble their previous works of Gurren Lagann and Kill la Kill. Welcome to me talking about Premiere. So I went to the movies yesterday, and I saw the movie Premiere. It was a great movie. It was a movie made by a famous company known as Studio Trigger. Studio Trigger, which has made multiple classics, such as Gurren Lagann, Little Witch Academia, and how could we ever, ever forget Kill a Kill. So as I stated before, guys, Studio Trigger worked on Kill a Kill, Gurren Lagann, and Little Witch Academia, and they've worked on big, big works. Now, a big key factor into those works was a director known as Hiroyuki Imashi. Uh, he is also the lead director of the movie Premiere, and he's worked on many other famous works like Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann. He's worked on those, and he has good directing experience, as it's been shown in the previous films he's made. So, him taking upon this has really set the bar high for the movie. It got me excited. I didn't know too much about this director or really anything about his team. I've been doing a little bit of research online about people talking about him and his previous works. I had no idea he even worked on those previous um, shows mentioned, but he has done a great job because each one of them has been my favorite so far. So if you guys are hardcore Trigger fans and you guys know about this team and know about him, you got a lot to be excited for. In fact, even when I was in movies, there were these two guys next to me that were so excited about the film being Patreon funded by fans of Studio Trigger and helping out with this film here. And they even were talking about this director himself and his team and were even enlightening me on things that I knew very little about. So that was very awesome to hear about, you know, the hardcore fans all around me that knew more than I did because, you know, as much as I love the shows, it's kind of stinky how I don't know too much about the teams that work behind them. So it was really great to be enlightened by the other people around me. And then you get the scriptwriter and creator from uh, Kazuki uh, Nakashima. Very sorry if I got that name wrong, but he worked on this, writing out the scripts and creating the uh, and creating the foundations of the idea of Premiere itself. In case you guys did know, he also was the creator of Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann. So these two working together make a pretty badass team and making a badass film. When I was in the movie theater, I had a couple guys around me wondering if the film was going to go into space, which was pretty interesting because I do love Trigger and I do watch Gurren Lagann and, and Kill a Kill. How, however, I'll, I'll admit my faults. I have yet to finish both those shows, which I have to get to in, uh, immediately. But I guess space is a big part of the Trigger uh, franchise. I'm not going to give any big spoils away, I don't, but there are space type themes involved in with the movie, so if that doesn't get you guys excited, I don't know what will. Many other people uh, while watching this noticed some similarities of the movie, how it also represented Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann, not just in the art style, but also some characters look similar to others. But I've noticed that when looking at this whole movie as a whole, and looking at the creator's responses and answers to this, that the way they were going with this movie was kind of a mixture between Kill a Kill and Gurren Lagann into one original movie adaptation. So I really noticed that when watching it. It was really exciting to see that there were some similarities of their past work into this movie. And it was really, really cool to see. And I think you guys would appreciate it as well. Like I said, guys, uh, this film is truly amazing. And the art styles and the soundtracks that they've worked with is phenomenal. There is a talk show at the end of the show where they discuss what the theme was and, and really how did they come up with all this stuff together and what really got into their heads when making this. So I learned very quickly that most of it was 
given to each teams with uh, with their own individual work. Uh, when they were giving, like the uh, team that was uh, working with the audio, when they were there and said, this is a scene we're making, what do you think would be good for sound effects? They didn't even need to give them direction on what to make half the time because the team was like, oh, I can e easily make this work. So this team worked very well together and it made an amazing uh, set of visuals all together as one. So um, that's really, really cool. Promere was an amazing film and Studio Trigger did an amazing job making it. For the first film, it was phenomenal. I loved everything about it, from the visuals to the audio to even the characters and designs. Everything was beautiful. If you guys got the pleasure of watching this movie, let me know in the comments below. If you guys can't wait for this to come out on DVD just like me, that is amazing because I definitely want to watch this again. It's, it's just, just an amazing film and I think it deserves a lot more praise and a lot more of the world should definitely know about it. So thank you guys so much for listening to me talk about this movie and thank you guys so much for listening all the way to the end of the video. If you guys like this, please stick around. And I hope to see every single one of you in my next video. Bye, guys.